Alright guys, now we're going to look at modeling subtraction with integers by using the integer ships in a number line. Okay. Now although addition and subtraction are related because they're opposites, um, subtraction is definitely a little trickier um, with the modeling. We'll, we'll talk about that here. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the first problem here and make sure you're just writing down everything while we're doing it together. So you'll understand it better, you'll get the hang of it. Okay, practice makes perfect. All right, so let's do the chips first. So here we have five minus eight, okay? So we need to draw the first number, which is a positive five. So we're gonna draw five positive chips. Now we're gonna subtract eight, okay? And because this is for the subtraction, the 8 is just a regular positive 8. This is positive 5 minus positive 8. <clears throat> so after we draw a positive 5 chips, we need to be able to take 8 of them away. So if you try to do that and we take away one chip and take away 2, 3, 4, 5, we have a problem. We need to take away 8, but we don't have enough to take away 8. Okay? So what we're going to do here, all right, and this is where remember we talked about in the last podcast zero pairs alright this is going to allow us to do something so because I don't have enough chips to take away I cannot just add another positive chip and then take it away I can't do that because I have to start with five if I do that I'm starting with six I can't change the amount alright but what I can do is I can add a zero pair alright because I'm still starting with five here when I add a positive and a negative this is zero five plus zero is still five I have not changed the value of the first number and I can add another zero pair and I can add another zero pair and you'll see that when we tried to take it away we could take away five but we needed three more right well here's our three more positive chips okay once again, we've added zero three times. This is zero, zero, zero. It hasn't changed the value of that first five. Now we can do the five minus eight. Okay? So here's my five. I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're taking away positive eight. So I'm taking away all eight positive chips. Now I look at what's left over. And the final answer is negative three. Okay? That's how that works, okay? So subtraction is definitely a little trickier. All right, now let's go ahead and do this on the number line, okay? As always, start at zero, and it's the same rules as we talked about last time. You have to look in the direction of the number. If it's a positive number, look right. A negative number, look left. Positive, if it's an addition problem, you walk forward. If it's a subtraction problem like we're looking at, we're going to be walking backwards like Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk. Okay? So this is a positive 5 minus a positive 8. Alright, so we're first going to go to positive 5. So we're going to look toward the positive direction and go 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, now we're on positive 5. Now, the next number is a positive 8. So what we're going to do is we're still looking forward. Okay, so if we had a guy, he would still be looking forward like this. Here's his nose so we know which way he's looking, right? Alright, so he's looking forward. But because we're subtracting it, he will be walking backwards or moonwalking 8. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. The same thing we got with the chips. <clears throat> okay? Alright, let's keep trying. It'll make more sense. Okay? Next problem. 12 minus negative 3. Okay? So we're starting off with positive 12. So we start off with positive 12 chips. Alright, so draw your positive 12 chips on your notes. Now the problem says we have to subtract or take away negative 3. If you look, are there any negatives we can take? Are there three negative chips we can take over? No, all we have is positive. 
So we have to bring in the negatives, right? But, well, like we talked about, I can't just bring a negative in because this will change the value. 12 and a negative 1 will mean 11. I can't change the initial value of the 12 before I do my taking away. So we can bring in a 0 pair because 12 plus this 0 is still 12. And we know that we're going to need three negative chips to take away. So I'm going to make three zero pairs. Because now that I've brought in three zero pairs, now I can take away the negative three like it says here. So I've, now I've done the 12 minus the negative three. Now I got all this left. So my final answer will be positive 15. Okay, let's try that on the number line. Let's start at zero. Remember, here's my subtraction sign, so these are my two numbers. First number is a positive 12, so we're looking in the positive direction, and we're going to walk 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to stop there. The second number is a negative 3, so remember you have to look in the direction of the number. So because it's a negative 3, we're going to have to turn around and we're going to look this way. So this is our guy. I'll just draw this here as an example. His nose is pointing here because we're now looking negative. But we're subtracting 3. So he has to walk backwards or moonwalk. So because he's facing this way, when he walks backwards 3, he's going to go like this. 1, 2, 3. So he will land on positive 15. All right, so remember, you're always looking in the direction of a positive or negative number, but adding means you walk forward that way, subtracting means you walk backward from where you're facing, okay? Next example, now we have negative 5 minus negative 6. So let's draw 5 negative chips to start with. 5 negative chips. Now we want to take away negative 6. So look, I have negatives. I can do n minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, but I don't have enough. So we have to bring more in. And because we don't want to change the value of the negative 5, we're going to bring in a 0 pair. Because that's still negative 5 plus 0 is negative 5. Now I have enough negatives to take away. I want to take away 6 negatives. So that's take away minus 1, take away negative 2, take away negative 3, take away negative 4, take away negative 5, take away negative 6. And this is all we're left with. Positive 1. Okay. Let's try the number line again. Remember, we're subtracting it, so here's our two integers. They're starting on 0. First integer is negative 5, so we are going to face negative 5 and go to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stop there. Now the second number is a negative 6. So because it's negative, we're still going to be looking this way. Okay, this is my guy. He's still looking this way. But we're subtracting. So we have to walk backwards. How many? Backwards 6. So we're going to moonwalk backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we land here on positive 1. So we're still getting the same answer, even though we're modeling it two different ways. All right, next one is negative 4 minus 6. So we're going to start again with negative 4 chips. So draw 4 negative chips. And now the problem is saying, because of subtracting, we, are, we have a negative 4 and we're subtracting. This is a positive 6. If you look here, you'll see it's not possible to take away or subtract six positive chips. We don't have any positive chips. So we're going to have to bring in positive chips, but in order to not change the value of negative four, we're going to be bringing in zero pairs. And because we want to subtract six positives, we're going to bring in six zero pairs. Okay. Now that the problem's set up, now I can do the math. So I got negative 4, subtract positive 6. So there's positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6. So now I look at what's left. I have all that. That is negative 10. That's the final answer. 
Let's look at the number line. Start here at 0. This is my subtraction sign. So we've got a negative 4, and we're subtracting positive 6. Because the first number is negative 4, we're going to go this way to negative 1, 2, 3, 4. There's negative 4. Now, the second number is a positive, so we're going to turn around and we're going to look this way. But because we're subtracting, we have to walk backwards. So we're going to walk backwards 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. Oops. Just like we had with the chips. Okay? All right, another problem here, 9 minus 16. So here's our subtraction sign. We have a positive 9 minus a positive 16. So we're going to draw 9 positive chips. And we want to subtract 16 positives. And we have positive chips, but we don't have 16. We don't have enough to take away. So again, we're going to make enough by bringing in, like before, zero pairs. And we're going to bring in enough zero pairs so that there is enough to take away. So if we had 9, how many more do we need to make 16 to take away? Right, 7. So we're going to bring in 7 zero pairs. And remember, even though we're bringing in 7 zero pairs, Technically, we're bringing in seven zeros, so it's still zero. It's nothing. It's not changing the problem. Now I'm going to subtract my 16 positives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Here's what's left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 negatives. So the final answer is negative 7. On the number line, as always, start on the zero. Once again, look at the problem before you do anything with it. It's a subtraction problem. Positive 9 minus positive 16. So because it's positive 9, we're going to look this way and go to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've made our first integer here. Now we're going to do the second integer. It's a positive 16, so we are still looking forward. So if we were walking on this number line, we would still be walking this way. There's the nose. But because we're subtracting, we've got to moonwalk backwards, 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that's going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Okay? All right. Real quick, last one here. We got negative 7 minus 10, so we need negative 7 chips, or 7 negative chips. Now we are taking away a 10, a positive 10. There's no positives anywhere here. So we're going to have to bring in enough positives to take away. So we're going to have to bring in 10 zero pairs. 10 zero pairs. Now that I got my 10 zero pairs brought in, here's the negative 7 I start with. We have to take away 10 positives. Now we can do that. Take away 5 positives, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So after I've taken away 10 positives, I've got all this. So I've got 7 plus 5 plus 5. I have negative 17 as the answer. Okay? I don't have enough time left to record to do the number line, but just remember, for the first number, you're going to look left and go to negative 7, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, because you have a positive 10, you're going to look this way, but walk backwards 10. So even though you're looking this way, you're going to walk backwards 10 more, land on negative 17 as well. Alright, if this is confusing, definitely watch this one again, okay?